Welcome to Texas A&M Agro Life Extension. My name is Joanne. I'm one of the Family and Community Health County Exchange Agents for Texas A&M Agro Life Extension, Hidalgo County. Today, we have Miss Yolanda, our Vice President, who will teach us how to make pajamas. The supplies you'll need are 2 and 5 eighths of a yard of fabric for individuals making extra small, small or medium pajamas, or 2 and 3 fourths of a yard of fabric for individuals that will be making large or an extra large, elastic, your sewing machine, and your sewing supplies. Now, let's welcome Ms. Garza. Good morning, everybody. My name is Yolanda Garza. I'm the Vice President for the Master's Clothing Volunteers Program. Buenos días a todos. Mi nombre es Yolanda Garza. Soy la Vice President de la M uh, MCV uh, Programa. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a coser con pajamas, el abajo de los pajamas. Today what we're going to do is you're going to learn how to sew a pajama. And we're using simplicity pattern S9129. Vamos a usar el patrón S9129. And en las instrucciones, en las instrucciones, también va a estar el pattern que yo copié. Y si miren aquí, lo que van a hacer es cortarlo y ponerlo junto. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to cut each piece and then paste it together with tape. No, no está perfecto, pero uh, más o menos es lo que es el patrón. Uh, si no lo pueden hallar, aquí está. Um, this is the pattern. You're going to copy and paste. I mean, you're going to cut and paste. And I'm going to demonstrate how to start off with first. Okay. Primero vamos a hacer esta línea aquí, una. Okay. Después, en, en, y si en partes, esto es uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco y seis. Okay. So this is part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six. I'm going to start with part one. Okay. And then from there you're going to go on your own. Voy a comenzar con la parte una y pues este, guys, don't know, hace lo solo, lo demás. Ok, lo que va a hacer es, ves, aquí lo corté yo ya. Que lo, ya lo corté y ahora lo voy a poner en la mesa. Okay. Y vamos a comenzar con A. Y este pedazo A es aquí encima. Ok, so vamos a comenzar aquí. Ok, y pues lo que vamos a hacer es un V. Uno ve que es acá arriba. Estaba muy grande el, el pedazo. The piece was too long for me to, to make copy, so lo corté. So I cut the pieces. So miren que aquí dice arriba. You, you see that it says top. So this is the top part. So, aquí está la línea. Lo van a coser así, ¿no? Y pues también siguen con así. Okay. Y lo van a poner acá arriba. Put it on top. This is how you're going to be assembling. 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 This ya que está todo esto pegado, van a seguir con el segundo y van a hacer la misma cosa. Y van a continuar con dos. Ella va a comenzar con tres, después con tres, con cuatro, con cuatro, cinco, con seis. Como les expliqué, no está, ya ha dicho, no está perfecto, pero es algo, le dan un padrón para que así les vayamos. We we'll give you a pattern, pajamas. Now, let me explain the el pattern. These blue dots, these little blue dots or small dots, is the el, el size, the el size. Here comes extra large. This line here is extra large. The second line is large. The third is medium. The second is medium. And then ex, uh, mediano, uh, extra mediano. So this is extra small, 
small, medium, large, and it's large. Okay. Y este es el crouch de la, de las pajamas. Y esta última es donde puede hacerlo más largo o más chiquito. Ya depende de usted. Ah, lo que sí les digo es quieren contar esta línea. Esta es perfecta porque es la línea que van a mediar. Que está seguro que está uh, derecho el patrón. You want to follow this arrow. This is the arrow where you're going to measure your seam to make sure your pattern is correct. Every, a los demás no importa porque me fíjense que aquí no pude muy bien. Pero este sí y este sí también. So más es posible. Y es, and this marks are your notch. This is your double notch. This is your triple notch. This is a double notch. Y el tres el notch. Y aquí está donde el cinco no notch. So, that's it. Poner todo para que sepan que van a hacer. I try to put everything what's on the pattern on this so you know what you're doing. Okay? Okay. Now, next, what we're going to know is, es, este patrón es para grande y para hombre. Sorry. Es para hombre y mujer. Okay? So, cuando yo primero comencé, this pattern is for men and women. So, cuando yo primero comencé, hice extra large. Yo uso extra large. So, hice el extra large y me salió demasiado grande, mira. Yes. Parecía payaso. This is extra large. It looks like a little crack. Okay. So, después pensé, ah, pues es para otra y también. I thought, oh, it's for men too. So, de ne, la, lo, el segundo lo hice mediano. No tenía uh, en el material. So, uh, y me quedó bien. Pero me queda como un pantalón, como asina. Y asina no, como quieres, es payama. Es payama dice ser un poquito más aguado. Yo pensé que me dice que el lobo es aguado. Me quedó en el mismo color. Y que sí, bueno. Ok. Como les dije, no tenía en el pantalón. So, me quedó. Uh, it, it wasn't long enough. So I added legs. No estaba largo. Yo comencé y se No necesitaba porque acabo de comprar ya me si quieren me va a ver en la casa. I didn't have to, but I thought maybe that would be a good idea for you. Okay? So the next one, el otro que hice era large. Y uh, the other one I did was large. Y si me queda bien, pero me queda hasta acá. So look at what, and so as you notice, a large, but the waist is set here. So what I'm going to do is do a medium waist, but in large or the mass. Similar, that's the muy largo por acá. Lo voy a cortar, lo voy a cortar en medium. Porque así nas, me corto en medium, me queda aquí, ves, ya me queda más. Bien. Okay. Por eso, uh, Lo que hice también, lo que necesita saber usted, pues que es que size will usar. Okay? Y esos son los sizes de, de mujer a hombre. So, this, you hice large, pues es extra, extra large a hombre. You see, I made a large one, and it's extra, extra large. Por eso me quedó muy grande. Hice un medium, and a uh, medium, y era chiquito en men size. Por eso me quedó un pantalón. Si I did a medium size, and it, and it's kind of small. But, well, not small, it's just that it was enough for jacket. So the next thing I did is did a large one, which is a medium size on men. And uh, it fit perfectly well, but again, I'm going to have to go with the medium waist. Dice largo, y que es mediano en hombre, pero acuérdense que me quedó la La, los, los pajamas muy alto aquí, so voy a ser una de la waist o ser mediano. Okay. Now, the, uh, how much fabric you're going to need? Okay. This is the layers que van a necesitar. Si es extra large, small, or medium, necesitas dos, cinco, octavo yardas. So if you're extra small, small, or medium, you're going to need two and five eight yards. 
If you're large or extra large, you're gonna need you're gonna need two and three fourths yards. Si es usted uh, large or extra large, va a ser dos y tres cuatro yardas. Okay. What I've done is I've laid out the material uh, on top of a big table. As you notice, the pattern is very that's very large. Lo que hice es puse el material entre una gran mesa o lo puede poner en el piso como yo lo hice uh, para que cubiera todo bien. Always make sure your fabric is smooth so that way your pattern is fine. Yo sé que muchos saben cómo hacer esto, pero hay mejor algunas que no saben. Pero les voy a enseñar cómo poner el patrón. Van a poner esta, esta raya, este arrow. Necesita estar de, uh, bien. Este es lo, lo mismo ancho de aquí a aquí. So vamos primero a poner esto. So agarra el, el, el measuring tape. Lo agarra y lo me, mide. Que casi es como un poquito de 12. Okay. So va a agarrar un pin. It's almost 12 inches. So you're going to paint it. Y lo que debe ser de aquí, pues, lo va a ser de aquí también. Okay. Aquí está la, más, la misma medida de aquí y de aquí. Y make sure your measurement is the same from here to here and from here to here. Okay. So, ya que está, que está segura que está igual, now that you have a measurement, make sure it's just straight line. We're gonna paint it all over, okay? We have all already pinned the pattern. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the fabric is folded in two, okay? It's folded. Show you, let me show you. You see how it's folded, okay? And you're gonna lay down your pattern, like I said, and then make sure everything is smooth, okay? Lo que se me olvidó decirle es que el material está doblado en dos. So, va a cortar dos de estos. Okay? Now, estamos listos a cortar. Make sure when you cut, you cut your notch. Okay? So, you can match it. Okay? Cuando van a cortar, acuérdense que cortan su notch aquí para que eche con el otro parte. One other thing that I forgot about the pattern is I wanted to shorten the length. And to shorten the length is you do it on where this line is at. Lo que hice es lo hice más no tan largo, porque otra vez es el patrón también es para hombre. So si lo hago muy largo me va a quedar mucho material. Okay? Solo y lo más lo doble de aquí, nomás, nomás, nomás lo que yo pensaba que estaba bien y, uh -huh. y es todo lo que hice. Okay? So you just fold, you just measure. I just thought an inch, let's try an inch and that works. What we're going to do is we're going to sew. Uh, the legs of the pajamas. Okay, so you're going to put right side together, okay, and you're going to make sure that everything, uh, make sure everything is uh, in line. That makes it easier. Okay, as close as possible the notch, and so you're going to pin it. So we're going to the sewing machine. And we're going to be sewing 5 eighths inch, okay? And we're going to do the same thing with the other leg too. Okay. So here we go. Make sure you sew uh, forward a little bit and then back up. is we're going to uh, press the stitch so we can set it in place, okay? So you're just pressing to set it in place. Once you set it in place, you're going to open up your seam and, and press on your seam open, okay? And you're going to do the same thing. 
the other leg. The next step is you're going to turn one of the legs inside out. Okay, so you have the right side to go. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert this right side into the one that's inside out. Okay. And you're going to, it's like a long tube. That Two. And you're going to match your seam with this seam. And match it together. And then again, you're going to connect here. You're going to match your notch. Your notch. So now we're going to start from the center, all the way up, and then we turn it over and we're going to do the same thing. Again, it's a 5 eighths inch, okay, so. Stitch, long stitch, make sure you're in your long stitch. We're going to sew it all the way to about several inches down, okay? And both sides, so when you fold it and insert your uh, elastic, it won't get stuck in between here, okay? And you're making long stitch because you're going to take them off. Okay, so you notice you see I've stitched it here. It doesn't have to be straight, so when I fold it over, okay, it can go through the last thing and go through here. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it inside, right side out, and we're going to work on the last thing on the one spot. Okay, and so what are we going to do is we Go down. We're going to measure two inches all the way around. Okay. Two inches down. Okay. So you're going to go all around. Get your measuring tape. And you're going to go two inches. You're going to press it in place. Okay. And iron it. Okay, once we have pressed it, we open it up and we're gonna do a one fourth inch a seam around it. Okay, one fourth of an inch. So, uh, this down. So, now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it like this after it's folded and we're going to sew all around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pinning here and go. So about two inches. Okay, you're going to stop at two inches. Where you start, which is around right here. You're going to stop at two inches. 
so you have enough for your elastic okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna finish it off okay now we're gonna insert the elastic okay so you're gonna get some elastic and you're going to take it around your waist and then add about an inch more okay. and then that's what you're going to do you're going to take a star safety pin put it on one end and then we're going to go all the way through okay. let's insert it make sure it goes in correctly and go around Inserting the elastic, you're going to sew right here, so it could be, so it won't get loose, okay? So we're going to be sewing that part. Okay. We're just going to pull it out together. Okay. Stretch it out. And then what you're going to go is you're going to go back and you're going to sew the opening. Okay? That's what you're going to do. Sew the opening. Okay. You is we're going to take out the little threads. Remember we left the little threads here? Now it's time to take them off on both sides. You just pull. So you don't need them anymore. You just pull them out. And you're going to do it on both sides. Remember to do it both sides. On the back side. That way when we are in a hurry. And that way it will indicate which is the front and which is the back. Okay. Just a few just so you can tell. Just get it here. And all I'm going to do is insert it in here. And sew it down. Him. Now, since these are mine, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it a half an inch and then sew another half an inch, and that will be my hem. Now, if it's for someone else, um, it's a present for someone else, then you follow the same thing as we did with the uh, elastic here. Okay, and these steps are in, your, in the head half. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Where it's sewn, you see where the stitch line is? Right here. And then I'm just folding it again, and then I'm going to stitch all around. Okay? So that's about it. And you're going to do the same thing with the other leg. video and I encourage everyone to uh, do a video itself you know it's not that difficult to do if you uh, are getting nervous to do something simple okay? and then uh, from there you can do a video we encourage all our members to do one okay I encourage I challenge each member to go ahead and do a video okay so thank you and I hope you enjoy this project and have a great day Thank you, Ms. Garza. Now, if you made this project, please comment on our social media or tag us. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye.